Now, in this part of the question then, we're given that the curve C has an equation y equals 9 minus 4x minus 8 over x, where x is greater than 0. We've got to find the equation of tangent then at the point P where the x-coordinate is 2. Now what you'll notice that I've done is I've drawn the graph. Now, you're not expected to be able to necessarily draw the graph, but I've just done it just so that I can demonstrate what's going on. But you should be able to do this, as I say, just by knowing what is going on, if you like, behind the scenes. You've got a curve and you've got to find a tangent. And to get the equation of a tangent, you need to use the equation. Let's just give you a bit of background here, first of all, just before we start. You're going to need to use the equation of a line. and. I'd like to think that you remember the equation of a line has the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. This is the best form that you could use for something like this rather than y equals mx plus c. x1, y1, remember, is a point on the line and m is the gradient. Now, to get the gradient, we need to, for a curve, differentiate this with respect to x. Get, find out what dy by dx is. That will give us the gradient at any point on the curve. Then we need to substitute the value of x in to get the particular gradient. We also need to find out what x1 and y1 are so we can get the coordinates of the point p. Well, we know the x coordinate is 2. So in fact, what I'm going to do first of all is find out what the corresponding y coordinate would be for the point P. So let's just say that when x equals 2, we'll find out what y is by substituting 2 into the equation. So it'd have 9 minus 4 times 2 minus 8 over 2. So we've got 9 minus 8, which is 1, 1 take away 4 is going to be minus 3. So therefore we know the point P has coordinates 2 and minus 3. So on this sketch here, as I say, where is 2 minus 3? Well, I'm just going to say it's say about there. Okay, so there's the point P with coordinates 2 minus 3. As I say, you don't need this sketch here. It's just so that you can see what's going on. So we now have our x1, y1 for the equation of the line, the tangent in this case. We need the gradient. So we need to differentiate this. So looking at this equation, this term here needs to be adjusted. So what I'm going to say is therefore y equals 9 minus 4x. Now minus 8 over x can be written as minus 8 times 1 over x and 1 over x is x to the power negative 1. So we should be in a form for differentiating now so we can do dy by dx equals differential of a constant is 0, differential of minus 4x is simply minus 4 and to differentiate this we got minus 1 times minus 8 is plus 8 reduce the power by 1 so we've got x to the power minus 2. I would write this back out in a better format. What we have is minus 4 and x to the minus 2 is 1 over x squared. 8 times 1 over x squared is 8 over x squared. So this is the general gradient at any point on the curve. But we're interested in the gradient at the point where x has a coordinate of 2. So if we just say that when x equals 2, we can get the value of that gradient. So dy by dx equals minus 4 plus 8 divided by 2 squared. So we have 8 divided by 4 essentially here, which is 2, minus 4 add 2 is minus 2. So the gradient at P is minus 2, our m value. So we're now in a position to find 
the equation of the tangent at p. So let's just give a little description of what we're doing so it makes it easier for the examiners to read. So we can say therefore the equation of the tangent at p okay, is. Okay, what is it? Well it's going to be y minus y1. We know the y coordinate, it is minus 3, so that's y minus minus 3 equals m, the gradient, which we now know is minus 2. So minus 2, bracket, and then we've got x minus x1. So that's x minus the x coordinate at p, which is 2. Now we're asked to get this in the form y equals mx plus c, essentially show that it's y equals 1 minus 2x. So what I need to do is make y the subject. Well, this is y plus 3, so we'll just put that in. Let's expand the bracket and we get minus 2x plus 4. And then if I subtract 3 from both sides, I get y equals, and then we've got 4 minus 3, which is 1, and then we've got the minus 2x. There you go, y equals 1 minus 2x, what we had to show for as the equation of tangent. So just to recap, we've got that the equation of the tangent through here, if I was to sketch it, this line here, all right, has this equation, y equals 1 minus 2x. Okay, that brings us now to the end of this part of the question.